Greetings and welcome to The End last week, this week, and next week, the podcast companion to The End, the weekly newsletter that shines a light back on audio fiction shows after they've reached the finale of a season or the conclusion of the series. I am your host and the curator of The End, Evo Terra. Let's get into this, shall we? Last week. The most recent issue of The End, the 49th, highlighted eight shows in the season finales and finished series section, and five of them wrapped in the last few days. Life with Leo, a romantic comedy from Octavia Bray and Atypical Artists, posted the final episode of the entire series on August the 9th. It was created and directed by black women and features a primarily people of color cast as well as many queer characters. Give yourself about seven hours to listen to the 18 episodes from both seasons. New West Hill Country, a narrated post-apocalyptic western from Seamus John, posted the season one finale on August the 8th. You'll need about five hours to listen to the 19 current episodes of this self-funded independent production. Season two is slated for February of 2024. Skulls and Treasure, a dramatized adventure from Amy Thorstenson and Littlest Viking Productions also posted its final episode on August the 8th. This complete story is both a love letter to the Indiana Jones franchise and also a re-examination of the franchise for the 21st century. Listen to the whole thing, only four episodes, in three and a half hours. The Last Echoes, a dramatized sci-fi story from Trace Callahan and the Shadow Network, posted the season one finale on August the 7th. You'll only need about an hour and a half to listen to the eight episodes of the first season, and season two is planned for next year. Residents of Proserpina Park, a dramatized urban fantasy comedy from Angela Yee, posted the finale of the third season on August the 7th. This show has women of color, Asian American Pacific Islanders, and queer representation. The first three seasons take almost eight hours to enjoy, and season four should come out in March of 2024. Listen to the end of this audio file to hear the trailer or episode snippets for these five shows. This week. With every issue, I make two personal recommendations for great audio fiction I personally love. As with all things in life, your mileage may vary. My first recommendation is for The Iron Anthology, a dramatized multi-genre anthology from Via Brooklyn. I found it an excellent example of a radio play and a real credit to the medium. Here's a snippet from the first episode. Mr. Ross? It's Mr. Hughes! Mr. Ross! Mr. Hughes and Mr. Sully. My apologies for not being able to greet you in person, but I'm busy hauling extra equipment to the work site. Please make yourselves comfortable. Yours sincerely, Abraham James Ross. P.S. Help yourselves to the bread. Huh. Ah! You there! Oh, you're not Abraham Ross. Ah, no, sir, forgive me. My I'm looking for Mr. Ross. Do you know where he is? Ah, uh, no, but I believe we're in the right place. Ah, helping yourself to a meal. Mr. Roth offered it. Did he now? Yeah, there's a note on the table. What was your name again? Noah Hughes. You're Mr. Sully? Hmm. I wasn't expecting Mr. Ross to have employed help here in the middle of nowhere. I could say the same thing. Right, well, once you've bandaged your hand, you may take my coat. Excuse me? My coat. I don't want you getting blood all over it. I'm not that kind of help, Mr. Sully. Oh. Forgive me. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. You must be Mr. Sully. Correct. Abraham Ross. A pleasure to meet you. I hope your journey wasn't too difficult. Uh, a little more complicated than catching the ferry to Charleston, but I managed. May I take your coat? Thank you. Mr. Hughes. Mr. Ross. So good to see you. Your hand is... Uh, the knife slipped as I was cutting the bread. Hard as rock. I should have warned you. Let's see. Doesn't look too deep. Here. Uh, bind it tight and it'll stop the bleeding. Thank you. Have I kept you waiting long? Not at all. I arrived just after Mr Hughes. Here. Excellent. Then I suppose the two of you are acquainted. Not quite. 
The Iron Anthology is a complete tale, giving you over two hours of entertainment across the three episodes of this show. My second recommendation is for Liars and Leeches, a dramatized supernatural horror series from Hemlock Creek Productions. I really enjoyed this slow burn suspense thriller that keeps you guessing and kept me listening all the way to the end. Here's the trailer. From Hemlock Creek Productions comes the new supernatural horror audio drama, Liars and Leeches. Grief, anxiety, terror. Tanya Wright felt it all after the tragic murders of her sister and brother-in-law in a random act of gun violence. Struggling to travel outside of her home, she now lives constantly on edge about perceived threats that seem to surround her. Retreating to the house her sister and brother-in-law once shared to process her grief, Tanya soon discovers that someone or something has followed her there. With the help of her best friend Natalie and others she meets along the way, can Tanya overcome her fears before they completely consume her? For more information about Liars and Leeches and Hemlock Creek Productions, visit www.hemlockcreekprod.com. That's hemlockcreekprod.com. Liars and Leeches has 10 episodes in the first season, delivering over four hours of entertainment, and there will be a season two sometime next year. Next week. The latest issue of The End has one entry in the new season's coming soon section, but it doesn't start next week, so I'll save it. Instead, I will once again remind you that listener slash reader support options are available for The End. If you love what you're listening to each week and credit The End for some of that, go to theend.fyi slash support and help me out. And that's all for this episode of The End last week, this week, and next week. For these and the other audio fiction shows featured, highlighted, and coming soon that were included in the 49th issue of The End, including links to listen to the shows mentioned in this episode, please visit theend.fyi. I'm Evo Terra. Thanks for listening. And now the five extra trailers or snippets. Life with Leo. Guys, guys, shut up. There's a man on my porch. Is he hot? Are you serious? She could be about to get murdered right now. Okay, Aggie, wow. I go home to myself. I work for myself. I'm fine by myself, Penelope. It's not a crime. Unlike half the shit you get up to. Hello, Janine. I'm Leo. You're a robot? Android. I'll disregard the incorrect terminology because I love you. You created an illegal android and sent him to your lawyer. You're welcome. You have not made my life better. I made you croissants. But if you're thinking about Spark, you could just call me instead. Goodbye, Michael Parker. I don't want to stop. You? Oh my gosh. Shh. Is this happening? It's happening. Life with Leo, a new rom-com from Octavia Bray and a typical artist. Available now wherever you get your podcasts. Life with Leo, a romantic comedy from Octavia Bray and Atypical Artists, is fully complete. New West Hill Country. The year is 2083. The global population has been decimated by the final flu, along with all things modern. The United States, not united for a long time, is no more. New lines have been drawn. Five civilized nations stand, deeply divided by beliefs in freedom, liberty, God, and self-reliance. The story begins in one nation, the New West, turned desolate, violent, and ruthless once more. Three lives intertwine in a quest for meaning, pleasure, and power. And the youngest, an orphan girl, defies her circumstances and fearlessly cuts a path forward.
New West, Hill Country, a narrated post-apocalyptic western from Seamus John, has reached the end of the first season. Skulls and Treasure Hi, I'm Haley Markowitz, and ever since I was a kid, I've only wanted one thing, to be Indiana Jones. And although the imposter syndrome is strong, even I have to admit that I'm doing a pretty good job. Come along, Miss Markowitz. You're about to be part of the most exciting archaeological discovery in history. Puddle with kerosene. Bad, 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 bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the mummy. We found her. The problem, as it turns out, is that ancient mummies and booby-trapped temples are nothing compared to what's going on inside my own brain. First, you're sharing feelings with the students who can't hack it at a top university. And now, an unmarked bottle of pills. And then, there's Jeremy Decker, my actual nemesis. Every mission he sends you on, every artifact you chase after, I'm going to be there first. So, can I save all of these ancient and powerful artifacts? Can I save myself? Find out by listening to Skulls and Treasure... Coming on Tuesday, July 18th. Skulls and Treasure, a dramatized venture from Amy Thorstensen and Little Spiking Productions, is fully complete. The Last Echoes. Attendant, on behalf of the people of Keylash, thank you for your invitation. We are keenly aware of how carefully and deliberately the collected worlds choose new members. It is a rare honor to be asked. Hmm. We too have always made a point of research. They sound like a careful people. Those traits made us a world powerful and prosperous enough to gain your attention. They sound afraid. Ma'am? We are the greatest power they've ever seen. We swallow broken galaxies and make them into something Better. Something whole. We're the monsters and heroes in their legends. And we are so far beyond what they know. They can't quite take us in. And those same traits now govern our response. My delegation and I will arrive at your archives three days after this message reaches you. We but they're coming here anyway. Both of the honor and yes, the so get ready. The records they've asked for are in your keeping. You'll meet them in three days. Before giving our own. Yes, attendant. I'll be ready. Commander Hugo, out. Make sure you show them who we are. The Last Echoes, a sci-fi audio drama, will be available beginning May 1st. 2023. This prologue features the voices of Seamus Winkin, Chijoge Williams, and Trace Callahan. When all that's left is an echo, no one's voice is small. The Last Echoes, a dramatized sci-fi story from Trace Callahan and the Shadow Network, has reached the end of the first season. Residents of Proserpina Park The park is now open for the new season. Adventure Ho! Oh, I'm so excited! New and old characters once again return to Proserpina Park with another mystery on hand. Hi! I'm Jessica. I'm Alina. These are my friends, Drew and June, and, you know, Dog. We're so new to the park. We want to know everything. Well, let's see. The obvious things are stay away from the waters. He's an encantado, a were dolphin known along the Amazon River. Stay in your guard. A were dolphin? Oh, like a werewolf, but dolphins? Stay away from the mountains. Anansi! Oh my god, I, I didn't think we'd actually meet. Child. You are dealing with not just any god, but a trickster. I am not always the hero in the stories. And stay away from the woods. Let's go. Oh, let's okay, go. Let's okay. go. Let's go. Wait, wait for me. Just run. Okay. So even unicorns are mean <gasps> creatures here. What's up with that? <laughs> wow. Uh, this park is pretty dangerous, isn't it? 
A new season of Residents of Proserpina Park returns. The residents have been waiting. Come on. You wanted to see how I survive in the park? I'll show you. Residents of Proserpina Park, a dramatized urban fantasy comedy from Angela Yee, has reached the end of the third season. That's it for the additional trailers. Once again, I am Evo Terra for the end. Cheers!